Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anastasia. I'm a graphic and web designer from Canada. In this video, I'm going to guide you through the whole process of redesigning the packaging for a shampoo brand. Make sure to watch the whole video as you will see the transformation of this packaging to this. I'm going to take you through the full process of redesigning the packaging from start to finish. We will start from reading the creative brief and analyzing the brand. Then we are going to do a competitor research, followed by creating a mood board for our new packaging. And finally, I'm going to show you how to design packaging in Adobe Illustrator. Make sure to watch till the end, as at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to present a redesigned packaging to a client. Before we start the video, make sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video. Thank you for your support. Let's get started. We'll start the product redesign project by analyzing the creative brief which will give us a better understanding of a business and the product the business sells. The creative brief includes the brand name, the story of the business, the target audience, the, and the vision of the brand. The business name is Alicia Dora. The story of the brand is Alicia Dora is a mother and daughter owned company located in Canada. Alicia Dora is dedicated on developing and curating exceptionally designed and sustainably manufactured products for families. The product that we are going to be redesigning is Natural Moxie which is a hair care product line. Target audience, the uh, customers that will be purchasing the product are children and preteen girls. So the vision of the product we'll be redesigning is we want the product to be girly, stylish and um, playful, so it will be more appealing to younger girls. To make the packaging stand out, we need to analyze the competition the companies that have similar products. It will allow us to design the packaging that is different and stands out from the crowd. For brand packaging, the competition is enormous, with the more and more products whining for attention. We will need to design packaging that will catch the viewer's eye. I did the research and I found companies that sell similar beauty products the shampoo products. I copied the images of the products from their website and I placed them all on one artboard so I can visually see the products and analyze them further. By looking at the artboard, you can visually see most brands use white background for their shampoo bottles and also pastel colors for their main color palette. This information will help me to design packaging that is going to look different from other shampoo bottles, from other brands. We are gonna do it by designing a shampoo bottle that is going to have a full color background, not white background. And also we are going to use a high contrast bright colors for the packaging to make it stand out. After we finished analyzing the competition, we will go ahead and create the mood board for our packaging. Uh, the mood board will help us to find the style and the direction we're gonna go with the design. Also, it will help us to collect some inspiration for the packaging redesign. And I will try to pick and choose the images that I like and fit with the style and design that I have envisioned. And now we will start designing the packaging. I'm going to open a new artboard in Adobe Illustrator and place all the assets that we need to design the label for the shampoo bottle. At first I'm going to paste an image of the old shampoo bottle just for reference. As we are going to redesign the packaging, we are still going to keep the same logo, colors and typography. Also, we are going to keep the same content that is on the shampoo bottle. So I'm just going to take all the content and write it out on the artboard. So I can use it when designing the label for the shampoo bottle. Uh, 
Now as we have all the content organized, I'm going to take a piece of paper and a pen and try to sketch a design concept. It's very important for me to sketch various design concepts before I start designing the actual packaging in Adobe Illustrator because it gives me a rough understanding of the structure of the design. Also, it helps me to figure out where all the content and graphics will be located on the packaging. From the sketches that I'm making, you can see that in the design I would want to implement curvy lines and also hand-drawn flowers. When I have a rough idea of how the packaging is going to look like, I go ahead and start designing it in Adobe Illustrator. For the packaging background, I want to add some kind of purple gradient. I open Pinterest and I'm going to be trying to find some gradients. Uh, with the colors that I like and I would want to use in the design. So I'm just going to copy and paste the gradients into the artboard so I can compare the gradients during the design process. I want the background to be a gradient, specifically a freeform gradient. To do that, I'm going to select this rectangle. In the gradient tab, select a freeform gradient. You will see that selected rectangle got different points that show different colors. To change the color, you need to double click on the point and you will get a swatches pop up. To select a color, you can use an existing color swatches or you can use a color picker to select a color that you want that point to show. So I'm just going to play around with the colors in the gradient and see how I can make this gradient look good. To give this gradient a little bit of depth, I'm going to use a few colors, such as dark purple, pink, and light pink colors. I'm going to make a curve line on the right-hand side of the rectangle. To do that, select a curve tool that you can find in the toolbar that is located on the left-hand side. You can place a few points on that line, and by dragging each point, you can make a curve out of that line. I decided that I want to have that curved line on the right hand side, so I'm going to reflect the object. To do that, select and right click on the object. Under transform option, select reflect. You'll get a pop-up that will show the axis that you can rotate the object, horizontal or vertical, and also you can select the angle. Also, I'm going to organize the content to ensure it has its clear hierarchy and that each piece of content stands out, such as natural moxie text, shampoo, kids edition, and description, and also the logo. As usual, I'm going to create various design concepts for the packaging. So I'm going to duplicate the design and try to create a design that is a little bit different. From the design concepts that I have drawn earlier, we are going to have some flowers on the packaging. However, I want the flowers to look like they were hand drawn. So I preferred to draw any illustrations using my tablet and a stylus. So I'm just going to open Illustrator and try to sketch the flowers for the packaging. I'm going to give you a little overview of how I created those flowers. So at first I used a curve tool to design the flower. After the flower is ready, I'm going to select all the lines and at the top you can see a toolbar. Click on the variable with profile drop down and select the option 2, which is called with profile number 1. This option will make all lines look thin on the sides and thick on the middle, which is the look we are going for. I'm going to draw a few more variations of the flowers. After the flowers are done, I'm going to transfer the uh, files from my tablet to the desktop and then place the flowers along the curve. And I'm gonna try to make them look good together by adding stems and leaves. In this step, I'm just going to experiment with the flowers by adding the color to the middle and reorganizing the position of the flowers. 
And now guys, watch me creating a few more variations of the design. I'm going to use the same idea of the packaging and the style. However, I'm going to reorganize the content and see how I can make this packaging design look even better. I ended up having a few design concepts, however, I'm going to pick only two designs that I'm going to move forward with. I really love how the packaging turned out. The purple colors really make the packaging stand out and the hand-drawn flowers really give the packaging an elegant look. And it also speaks to our target audience, which are kids. As the packaging design is done, now it's time to create a product presentation where we're going to place the design into the mock-up so we can see how the design will look like on the actual shampoo bottle. I'm going to create a mock-up for the two designs because I really like both of them and see which one looks better. At first I'm going to find a shampoo bottle mock-up. I'm going to use this website called FreePick to get some free mock-ups. I'm just gonna go through all the options and try to find the mock-up that looks the best to me. As you can see, I chose this shampoo bottle mock-up because I like the shampoo bottle shape and also the mock-up looks very clean. So I'm just going to double click on the layer that I want to edit and then paste the design. This mock-up also gives an option to edit the color of the lid. So I'm going to double click on the layer and change the color by placing a gradient on it. I'm going to create two mock-ups based on those two designs and see which one looks better at the end. So after creating mock-ups and looking at those two designs, I really like both of them. So please let me know in the comments below which design you like the most, the first or the second one. So the next stage will be creating a packaging presentation for a client. So let's see how the new packaging turned out and its transformation. So everyone, let's meet a new shampoo packaging for Natural Noxie. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and you learned some new techniques and tools. If yes, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel and turn the notification bell on so you can get notified when I post similar videos. If you have any questions about Adobe Illustrator or design process, please let me know in the comments below. I would be happy to answer. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.